Okay, so what's up there guys and welcome back to Ticket Detecting. Welcome also to a nice mild Tuesday morning. And we're out here detecting the sports oval today or going to make our way around the outside and uh, we're using the Equinox 800 and also the little baby's hand six inch coil, the little sniper. Uh, what a ripper. So we've just been having so much success with that coil lately. I have not taken it off the Equinox. So we've just been running it everywhere and this is a site I'd like to test it out at today. So we also have another other side uh, as we venture our way home in the afternoon and uh, we can get to and that is an old school uh, an old rec reserve and also an old house site all three attached together so that is awesome we're going to uh, make a start see what we can find here as i said little six inch coil try to warm up as we go and see if we can't snag a nice silver coin Okay, so we have our next target, uh, but before we dig it, there's something I really, uh, you know, like I wasn't going to show it. I think I will show it though. I think it is important to have good etiquette when coming and hunting these sites. And uh, to be honest, when I walked through the gates there before, let me uh, start you from the start. There's one there. You will uh, see what I'm talking about in a minute. When I walked through the gates there, uh, I noticed a hole straight away. To be honest, I thought mm, maybe a detectorist hole. It looks like a detectorist hole. It may be also a rabbit hole, uh, although I did notice a bottle top uh, sitting outside the hole. So did think it was a, a detectorist hole. Upon further walking in here, look at, uh, look at what I've found. Uh, to be honest, this is just, you know, let's face it, it's not good enough. Uh, as a detectorist, you know, and many people out there buying detectors now, they come and uh, dig their heart out, and that's quite okay, you know. Everybody's entitled to have a go. Uh, however, this is having a go and then some, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's not that hard to dig a neat, clean hole. If you can't dig a neat, clean hole, learn in your backyard. Uh, you know, teach yourself, practice, because... <laughs> Let's face it, to me, um, you know, I've been digging for six years now and detecting uh, many or hundreds of different sites. And some of these sites you go, you really need to be able to dig clean. Uh, as I said, I've been detecting for six years, so I can dig a neat, clean hole, a neat, clean plug. As I said, if you can't do that, though, you probably need to start off out in the paddock or even in the bark, wood chips around the playgrounds, or even, as I said, in the backyard of your own house or your own home. See what you can find because um, you can see here the way the state they've left this place and this is actually a bit of a, a soldier's memorial uh, reserve too where you know uh, they've got uh, monuments and what have you and to be honest I feel a little bit guilty about being here myself because look at that. That's just atrocious. That's not even, you know, that's, that's a plug. That's a hole plug. And I've just left it sitting like that. So it really, um, it really pains me to see a sites like this that I go to. Yeah, you know, I've been coming here for the last five years and I've got uh, permission through the uh, the caretaker here, the, the, the uh, you know, uh, club president basically, who looks after this place. And I'm sure if he rocked up right now, uh, he'd probably, he, I'm sure he wouldn't blame me. Uh, because let's face it, they're, they're a couple of days old, these holes, uh, but I'm sure he would not be very impressed, uh, and neither am I. So as I said, anybody is entitled to pick up a detector and have a bit of a dig, have a bit of a scratch around, uh, but look, do it neat, do it nice. If you can't do it neat in places like this, as I said, start out somewhere else, uh, because let's face it, you are ruining uh, good sites like this, and not only that, you're ruining it for other people as well so anyway look that's um as i said i wasn't going to touch on it wasn't going to say anything however uh it just as i said it just pains me so practice your holes we are going to do a few uh, how to dig uh, neat plug holes videos soon and uh, i'll show you a look at exactly how i cut a neat plug if you watch any of my videos with a little handheld digger though you'll see exactly how i do it but we will uh, touch on that more in future so anyway let's keep going uh, around the messy holes and see what has been missed righto so that's rant over now uh, basically i just you know uh, looking at those holes there and, and seeing one or two as a, you know, whatever, uh, I could sort of walk away from them, but I'm just spotting more and more and more as I go. Uh, and here we have a nice target in between two of them too. So I wonder what he's missed here, or they've missed. Uh, presuming it's a he there, could be either. He or she. We are going to dig this one. Once I locate him a little bit better, he's a... Uh, being a bit of a trickster. We'll just rotate around on the target there. 
Right, he's right there. A part of digging a neat plug too is really knowing exactly where your target is. So let's face it, if you sort of think he's there, or he could be there, could be there, could be there, you've got to open up a massive hole, or you've got to go after uh, those individual areas where you think it is. So part of digging a very neat hole, let's do this one-handed too. The ground is nice and soft. Part of digging a neat hole is knowing exactly where your target is. So not only practice your, your plugs and digging your plugs, but also practice pinpointing because that will help in the long run. So one-handed, we did cut the back of him a little bit. However, generally that's the, uh, the main game, the main idea. Do like a bit of a horseshoe or even do a three-sided square plug, leaving a bit of a flap at the back there, uh, a little bit of a hinge on the plug so as the grass roots can grow back. So most important, not so much important right now, as you can see, beautiful green grass everywhere. However, especially in summertime, uh, or you know, in, in areas where the grass doesn't grow too well, it's definitely important to leave that hinge on the back of your plugs, so. And then I just sort of pull the dirt out like that, sit it up, you can easily just knock it back in with your fingers, not leaving a huge mess. Generally, look at that, your target comes out with it. It's not a coin they'd missed, it's just a little copper o-ring washer. So never mind, that could have easily been a coin though. Let's face it, if they're missing a copper, you know, nice high sounding targets like that, digging out um, targets right beside us there, uh, left and right or in front and behind, uh, what else have they missed? So this side's been pretty bloody good over the years too. Uh, I've found florins and shillings and sixpences and threepences, especially, you know, a lot of ramhead shillings are coming from this site. Uh, it was most popular, uh, most active during the 1950s. So that is a lot neater, isn't it, uh, compared to that plug over there. That cape weed doesn't bounce back as good as some grass, but give it a day. Uh, you know, like by time tomorrow, if someone walked around here, they would spot that hole there. They'd spot that hole there they probably wouldn't even give a look at my little hole over there. So that's how it's done. As said, we're not going to rant and rave about it. Uh, if, if Mick does turn up, the caretaker, I might uh, point these out to him and try and help him fill them in. So uh, if he doesn't, I will be filling them in before I leave because uh, I, you know, I didn't do them. However, I don't want to leave it like this either because I want to come back here one day. I uh, do not want to see it like that. Hey, check this one out. There we bloody go. Look at that. The little Equinox 6-inch coil is just a sniper. It's hit on our first piece of silver. That's an old 925 silver ring. It's been chopped in half, unfortunately. Uh, there we have it, though. What were we just saying? The targets that uh, uh, this person has missed. You know, we, our last uh, target was just there. And uh, we had the hole there and the hole uh, behind us, a really messy hole behind us there. We're walking forward about a metre away, and look at this. Uh, they've definitely missed this piece, so uh, awesome, awesome stuff. Our first piece of silver, and now let's try and turn that guy into a coin, shall we? Okay, so here is our next one. Unfortunately, in the side of the messy hole, uh, we're uh, basically going to be digging up what someone else has previously dug up. Look at that, they have not even put this... Oh God, look at that. They haven't even put that whopping big bit, uh, bit of dirt back in the hole there. Isn't that just so unbelievable? I don't know how people can leave sites like that, you know? It's one thing to dig out and get the treasure. We are all for it. Everybody, I'm sure. Who doesn't love finding the treasure? However, you've got to do it the right way. Like, imagine if this person come back here. They're going to see all their holes from uh, months prior and... What are they going to think? Oh, I don't care, or are they going to think, oh, I'll just dig some more and leave it a mess again? Not good enough. Rant over. <laughs> we'll uh, stop talking about that. 16, 17 in the hole there, that's what they were chasing. Let's go after him. Let's just see what they were chasing. I dare say that will be a pull tab. He does not look like he's going to be a silver. Oh, look at that. Ah, what a mess. What a bloody mess. Only a few days old by the looks. There it is there. Let's hope it's a little wheat thrippence. Nope, she's a pull tab. So I wonder if they actually hit on that uh, and threw it back in the hole. I wonder if they just missed it all together. Let's try and fix this one up a bit. This is disgusting. 
it's not right all right that looks better <laughs> at least we put that big clot of dirt in uh, back in the hole okay never mind never mind i said we're gonna walk around before we finish today and uh, try and fix up all these holes so we even had a bit of a, a dip under the chairs here I dare say, like I've ran the coil over here, I dare say they were hitting on the pole there uh, and dug their little heart out, uh, but basically discovered that they, they were just uh, striking on the pole there in the end. So never mind, well, let's keep going. Two steps to the right hand side and we've got a $2 coin. Another coin that has been missed. We were just at that last target over there, not far away from the chair there. So there you go, just a swing to the right as I said. And we've got ourselves a $2 coin. We nearly lost him too. I'll roll him around on the back of the finger there so you can give him a look. So awesome stuff. I'm sorry I'm very shaky. Uh, it's extremely cold. So $2, our first $2 into the pouch in with that silver ring so let's keep going let's see if we can't turn that into a nice five or ten dollar uh, amount for today wouldn't that be nice rightio it's happening again and we've got a few more signals uh, where someone has been digging previously and either missed them or they're rubbish and left them in the hole you can see another one in this one too so one in this guy if we swing around another nice high signal in this one and look, who knows what machine they were running, what coil, uh, what experience they had. I don't know, obviously. Uh, it's just one of those one of those things, I said, it might be rubbish. Or that is a coin that they have missed. So let's go after them. I don't really want to go digging in someone's holes. Let's face it, we can't make much more of a mess though, can we? It's already crazy messy. So let's have a look. Let's see if we uh, can get a silver coin or something out of this. I said that someone has missed, or they just left rubbish in the hole. That is a bit messy with the left hand, but let's face it, it was already a messy hole to begin with. Alright, so he's down a bit more of a way. Let's go after him with the right hand. Look at that. Caught stones just flicked out everywhere. Unbelievable. Looks like Dominic's been digging here. <laughs> I don't even think he's that bad. At least uh, Dominic knows to keep his uh, take his rubbish out of the hole. So there we are, bottle top that one. Who knows whether they hit on it or whether they missed it or whether they hit on it and left it there. Even Dominic knows to take his rubbish out of the hole and even Dominic knows how to dig a fairly neat hole and also, most importantly, to fill it in. <laughs> he's only six too. Go after this next one. <clears throat> Let's hope we get a bit more lucky in this one. I thought there's no one there too then. He sounds a little bit more promising, this guy. He's up the back there. Let's grab our tools. A bit hard with one hand. Look at that. <laughs> wow, what a mess. Let's just pull it open like we did with the last one. Looks like they've went from here and made their way back like this is a huge hole uh, they would have been probably digging with a garden shovel i'd say the target's right there there he is all right let's see fingers crossed this is a coin and another bottle top so here we go i wonder if that was once again Another bottle top that was thrown back in there. Let's try and clean this up a bit. Okay, what I think I might do, I do have another site in mind today. I was sort of gonna try and hit two sites and I think that's what we might do. Uh, we might do a little bit more at this site, just trying to clean up a bit. We're gonna fill those holes in and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get over to the back there and uh, try our luck up there because I remember that was where I snagged a few neat silver coins last time. So that's what we'll do. We'll clean up the holes here and then uh, we'll make our way that away. Rightio, I think I've seen enough to be honest. There is just holes everywhere. They are never bloody ending. We filled in a heap over near the club rooms there. And look at this, it's just still like no one's even uh, pushed these down. So look, it's just, um, 
it's making uh, the day a little bit frustrating, I should say, uh, I will say. Uh, so look, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to try something different, uh, walking around seeing all those holes. And it's not like I'm not finding stuff. I am pulling a few coins here and there, mainly one and two cent coins. No silvers just yet. Uh, just seeing all those holes though, like uh, there was a few back over here. Uh, just absolutely everywhere uh, this person must have gridded out this whole site i swung the coil over this one and there's a large uh, can or something in there so uh, i don't know let's just get out of here and try and have a better day somewhere else shall we uh, look there's another one right there so i'm gonna put the detector in the car walk around five minutes clean up a few of these holes because i think that is the right thing to do let's face it probably no one else is going to do it and uh, then we're going to get out of here and move on to site number two so we'll see you there Okay, so welcome back there guys. We're at our next site now, uh, the old abandoned school site. This has been a bloody amazing place to hunt too. Uh, you'll just see there's been some recent work, or I should say a recent tree fall down, and they've pushed it all uh, along the fence side there. So uh, that is all ground that we're not going to be able to touch on, and neither uh, is all underneath the thistles there that have got out of uh, control. I remember last year they, um, they sprayed them. So I've been hunting this site for a couple of years, it is sheep country, as you can see, all little uh, sheep hoof prints down there. And the reason why the grass is so low too, it's always kept down to a bare minimum of grass out here. The sheep do a wonderful job. So anyway, the old school site sat right here. We've got some foundations, uh, some bricks. I will throw up a picture, a top left corner. You'll be able to check it out for yourself. Uh, it's a wonderful old school. Uh, I'm pretty much standing uh, right where the front door would have been right now so the school building would have uh, been headed back that way and the road is behind me where the picture was taken from so anyway uh, nice to see there's no detectorous holes here there uh, either is there so I was just thinking it was about a half an hour uh, trip in between sites and um, I was just thinking to myself uh, you know we dug what <laughs> uh 400 odd or 300 and something odd oh, look we dug about 600 odd holes out at the old school site there uh, doing 10 rounds trying to uh, show exactly what was coming out uh, over the period of what a month and a half and i tell you what i was just thinking on the way uh, in the car to here you know all those hunts hundreds of holes dug uh, every week that we returned the site uh, you know you still couldn't see any of the holes that we had dug previously so a bit of a shame you know the site that we just left at the old rec reserve there a bit of a shame it looks the way it does it's a uh, it's a real shame a very very sad so and to be honest it's it was killing the morning for me i didn't want to be there uh, i wanted to be there until up until i seen all that and then all i wanted to do was leave so uh, let's make a start here. This has never been done with that little six inch coil. I'm going to be working the top area here where the school sat, uh, working over to the back of the school, uh, which is in the back corner there, and also down onto the oval, which we've found a ton of coins on. So awesome stuff. We've also got the, uh, the rec reserve tennis courts next to us, uh, and even an old house site up over the back there uh, behind that box thorn hedge so anyway i said let's make a start and uh, we will see what we can find here today uh, if nothing comes to the six inch coil we're going to put the big daddy 11 inch coil on and give that guy a run hey so there we go we've got our first coin finally uh, looks like a rue penny to me i'll just show you though we went from the tree there as you've seen we walked all the way uh, oh hell we sort of walked under the trees there and then we sort of doubled back over to the back fence and walked all the way back to here almost like uh, in a bit of a grid with that little six inch coil so we've got our first coin look at that a 1943 kangaroo full penny a very very trashy area up the front here that's exactly the reason why i really wanted to get that six inch coil here today and do a bit of detecting and see what we had missed uh, hunting with the 11 inch coil uh, for the, what the last four years we've been detecting here so awesome awesome stuff uh, i just cannot believe we're still pulling coins uh, who knows we may even find a pendant uh, because we've found so many uh, pendants you know the old coronation pendants agricultural society uh, pendants uh, the peace and victory uh, War world war ii pendants we've found so many here uh, probably more at this school site than any other school site uh, in the district that i've done so awesome stuff our first penny now let's see if we can find that little silver coin as i said that is really what i'm aiming here for today 21 22 this guy a nice high target a couple of bars of depth and exactly what i'm thinking 
to be a coin. It's got a nice little pinpointing target range there, so we're going to give him a dig. I tell you what, I was just sort of thinking to myself too, uh, you know, this morning I uh, wasn't really feeling it at the old oval there where all those messy holes were. And to be honest, we've only dug one coin here so far. I'm not really feeling it here either. So I'm sort of thinking, uh, do I, you know, do I uh, touch base on another site in this video and head for a third site, which I've got a great one in mind, uh, quite an active site too. Uh, so I'm sure we can just go there and hit the ground running straight away and find plenty of coins, uh, old and new. So actually, funnily enough, this site is about to have its 100th anniversary. Uh, so yeah, as I said, 100 years of occupation, still currently used today. It's a, it's a ripper of a site. So there he is, that's our target. No, it's not. I thought that, uh, that was what it was there. A bit of burnt rubbish. We still gotta go down to him a bit more. Let's have a look, we could be onto a coin, uh, still just yet, so. I'm not going to give up just uh, straight away either. We will keep plodding along. There we go. We do have a coin. I will keep plodding along. And then once I get to uh, towards a bit more uh, lunchtime, we are then going to pack it up and get out of here and go for a round three at the, uh, the rec reserve there. So what a bloody ripper. I'm just trying to look what this guy is. Wow, look at the condition. 1917. Thank, uh, thankfully, we didn't strike him too. I was being a bit of a wild digger there. So 1917, to be honest, how does this guy exist? Uh, he's quite a big coin, you know, a uh, little sixpence or threepence, I could understand. A big penny like this uh, is quite easily uh, picked up at the beginning. So 1917, beautiful one uh, penny, Commonwealth of Australia around the outside there. What a bloody cracker. Let's give him a clean up on this side just quickly. Before we throw him in the pouch, you'll be able to see George on the back there. Awesome, awesome, all the beads on his crown and only a little bit of copper verdigris cancer going on in front of his nose there. So really, really cool. A 1917 Compenny, what a ripper. So there you go. And not only are we not having the best success today on the coins like we thought we would, we're also now having to contend with a little bit of rain. That's all right, should keep me cool. I've got two jumpers on and I'm starting to overheat. So. 19, 18 on the Equinox, this guy. Uh, I'm thinking it to be a sixpence. So let's give him a dig. He could just be a little bit of foil, a little bit of rubbish that I've been digging. Uh, a lot of the uh, uh, burnt alloy, you know, burns up into a little uh, molten ball uh, from all the burn offs and fires that they would have had here in the past. I've been finding a lot of those. I've been ringing in at 18, 19 also. So uh, there we go. That's a bit of a messy hole too i will say however we're out in a sheep paddock today and uh look as long as you fill them in you know you can see where i've been there as long as you fill them in flat it's quite okay we're not at a not at a rec reserve a public recreation reserve no one will see that uh, that that dirt there on top of the surface not only that in about a week it'll be gone so let's go after him he could be a coin what a bloody ripper no matter where i am though I always fill my holes in whether it be a public park the gold fields, it does not matter. It's the same wherever I go. So I think that's a good um, <laughs> uh, good way to be. There he is, he's still in the hole. We need to go after him, he's like a penny. He's just really deep down, deeper than what I presumed anyway. We should have him in this strike, surely. Surely, surely. Yeah, okay, he's not gonna be a coin. He's a little bit of rubbish, like what we've been finding a lot of today, so. Never mind, that's okay. As I said, we may hit up that third uh, recreation reserve, get that little tiger handheld digger out again, and hit up the recreation reserve. Uh, it's about to have its 100 year history, uh, commemoration or uh, event, I should say, celebration. So uh, we might get there just before, clean it up, and then after their big event, where they have heaps of people running around drinking and dropping money, we'll go there again and give it another go with the Equinox 800 and that awesome little coil. Rightio, so we are nearly finished at this site. Then we're going to move on to site number three and just have a bit of a look there for this afternoon and see what we can't unearth at the old rec reserve there. Before we do though, I just wanted to share and show this old house site for anybody that has not seen it. So we've been coming here for about, what, three or four years now. And uh, I tell you what, 
this old house it did not look uh, like this when we first come here that's for sure this original wall a kitchen wall was standing up still uh, you could walk in sort of a doorway here uh, and make your way into the kitchen uh, so sadly all that's fallen down as you can see and if we venture over here stepping on all that tin probably stepping on snakes underneath it uh, venture over here you can see all of this has fallen down too now uh, and this was all still standing too so uh, the back bedroom there or I presume that the dining lounge room here uh, coming off the kitchen way there so we cannot do much uh, at all with this really there is uh, no room to swing a detector let's face it you're just going to be hitting on all those chunks of uh, the old uh, roof the old tin so and bricks and wood and everything else you can see the old um, beams uh, of the floorboards or the old floor there so really really cool what a what a shame though uh, every time I visit this house you know I know I know really nothing about it I don't know who lived here how many people lived here uh, I don't know how old it is I presume uh, early 1900s or late 18 uh, to early 1900s so but it's a it's a pretty cool little house isn't it you can just imagine a kitchen uh, there would have been another room here. You can see the, the foundation of the wall there. And uh, as I said, the dining and the bedrooms over the back there. And we've also got the water tank stand, a uh, little footpath leading out. I think that was the clothesline right there. Uh, makes sense. Leading out the back to the clothesline. You've got the septic tank over there and the toilet, the enamel toilet, a porcelain toilet, I should say, hiding in the other uh, bushes. Uh, that whole box thorn hedge is full of stuff. Bottles and uh, toys and just just loaded with stuff I've uh, picked through there a couple of times and we found some wonderful old bottles uh, I'll tell you what I'm sure if I went through there again which I'm not going to do today uh, I'm sure if I went through there again I would find plenty more oh there's something catching my eye uh, over in the back there a heap of bricks it looks like a, a fox's a fox's burrow or even a rabbit burrow and a fox has taken it over it's quite a big burrow so you can see a heap of bricks and and where that leads uh, will possibly lead to more bottles too. Another little outshed or something that's come down here. So, very sad, very sad to see. I just love exploring these old abandoned houses. Uh, even if I find nothing, I just love looking around the old rustic areas, you know, with tin and bricks and rocks and glass and timber and foundations. And I love trying to map it out. I love trying to understand it. I love uh, exploring it also. So. Anyway, uh, what, 10 minutes on the detector, I think. It's just coming on one o'clock. Uh, 10 minutes on the detector. Uh, if we're doing good here, we won't bother with the rec reserve. Uh, we'll leave that for another day. If, uh, if we fail here, we don't do any good at all, depending on how much time we spend here. Uh, if we uh, don't do too well at all, we may uh, just venture, as I said, to that rec reserve and finish off this video, uh, pulling a few nice coins. So anyway, on the detector, let's see how we go. Rightio, I've made the decision, it's time to leave. It's time to get onto that next site. As I said, I'm just not feeling it today. Uh, it's been a bit of a failure, to be honest, uh, but I'm glad I've caught it all on film and uh, basically showed uh, that, you know, not all days are successful. We've only got two pennies for our uh, to efforts today and plus filled in a heap of holes. So anyway, that is about it for this site. We will be back again very shortly. As I said, we will go uh, over to site number three now and uh, we'll see you there. Okay, so welcome back there, guys. We have finally made it to site number, what, three, four? Uh, and basically started hitting on the coins pretty much straight away, too. We've got a $2 coin there. As some will have noticed, too, I've changed over to the 11-inch coil, just trying to cover that little bit more ground. So instead of picking him up, let's go down and have a look. You can see where he's come out from in the plug there. And we're using the little handheld Tiger Digger. The scenes though we're around uh, the outside of the recreation reserve at the moment so switching from the the tiger handheld digger to the shovel there and then back to the tiger handheld digger for this afternoon so it is what three o'clock on the watch we're going to spend about ooh, an hour here see what comes of it the last time i was here uh, well over the other side of the oval there i won't throw the camera up too high uh, is the old public toilets and uh, well over the other side of the oval and last time I was here at the toilets there I scored a beautiful a beautiful big florin uh, you know quite a surprise too so who knows we could get lucky again we could score another florin uh, but any silver coin would be nice so 11 inch coil let's see how we go that's what I like to hear a nice fresh drop coin that's a goldie any day of the week have a listen to that double jump and I can see it too. 
I can see it straight through the grass pointing back up at me so one dollar coin this guy it looks like a fresh drop possibly from over the weekend we've been having a lot of football here lately I should know I only live about two streets away and I hear them uh, training on a Tuesday night training on a Thursday night and then the big football game matches on the weekend and my uh, my street even gets very busy too with people uh, finding their car parks down my street so uh, on the weekends of football so anyway let's keep going hopefully a few more uh, fresh drop dollar uh, gold coins like that but ideally I'm really wanting a silver coin we've got a couple of pennies remember we do have that 925 silver ring however I would really like just one silver coin I know a bit greedy aren't I oh look at that we might have another coin just in the same swing there let's keep the camera going Tis two. That's a uh, two dollar coin by the sounds. Let's have a uh, bit of a dig. Go after him. I said, keep that camera rolling. He was somewhere about there. Ground is nice and soft. A tiger digger, little handheld digger here, does an amazing job. Absolutely amazing. Uh, many people out there have got them. I know. Uh, got the different varieties. The, the little tiger uh, cub digger. Uh, the uh, this is a, the longer one that I've got here. I just love it. I've had it for about three years now. Uh, it's uh, my favourite little digging tool. There he is. Let's, oh I can see him. I was going to say let's go in with the digger again. But there he is right there. So $1 coin. Next up is a $2 coin. Straight on camera. That's awesome. Let's give him a bit of a clean up. And give you a better look. So what is, uh, we've got about 5 or 6 bucks today now. Which is quite nice. The first uh, oval that we started out with. All the messy holes. Let's forget about that, shall we? And then we moved on to the old abandoned school site, rec reserve, and um, old tennis courts there, and the old abandoned house. And now here we've already pulled what four, three, four dollars. So, uh, and a few one and two cent coins that I have not uh, filmed and shot. So, anyway, 11 inch coil, what a ripper. Let's keep going. We have another two dollar coin, or one dollar coin, I think actually. A solid 22 there on the screen. I should have looked properly, shouldn't I? We'll go into pinpoint there. Very nice, small, short, sharp, sweet sounding pinpoint range. He's right there somewhere. Before we dig away though, let's get the pinpointer on him. It'll tell a bit better of a story. Right there. <laughs> so there we go. We were pretty much spot on uh, with the pinpointing there. The 11 inch coil. I've uh, used the most out of all the coils that I've got. I've got the uh, 11 inch uh, which is what I'm using right now I've got the little six inch and I've also been kindly given the 15 inch coil uh, from Chris at Detecting Sydney and I just love it however the 15 inch coil is really one coil that uh, you know you really need to pick and choose where you uh, where you are using it the 11 inch coils not too bad in trashy ground oh look at that we were tricked a Jack Daniels bottle top lid uh, the old common culprit that always rings up just like a two dollar coin never mind uh, but the 15 inch coil though, you know, it's a great coil, however, you do have to pick and choose where you use it. Uh, if I wanted to scan this whole ground really quickly, drop my sensitivity down and just target the $1 and $2 coins for the day and cover the whole uh, ground, the 15 inch coil would be awesome. If I wanted to take a little bit more time, cover it, uh, you know, a little bit more methodically, the 11 inch uh, coil is perfect. If I really wanted to cover it very methodically and, uh, you know, dig everything and not miss anything, that's when the 6 inch uh, coil comes into play. So anyway, enough drip jabbing. It is getting cold and we are starting to have some showers come overhead. Uh, so we need to get a bit of a wriggle on. Oh, hello there. And dig a few more targets and see what comes of it. Right, oh, so we will capture this one. I was going to leave it at 23, 24, a couple of bars of depth. However, listen to when you go into pinpoint there. He's a very short, sharp, sweet signal once again. So we're going to go after this guy because uh, just because the numbers aren't right, you know, uh, 23, 24, 22, jumping around, does not mean that's not a one or two dollar coin. It's probably not going to be. It's probably going to be a bottle top. However, if you walk away from all these signals, you don't know what you're missing out on. There he is. A bloody bottle top now, that could have easily been something else though uh, one or two dollar coin I've had that uh, one dollar coin there before 
had come in at a really funny jumpy number just like a bit of a bottle top or a bit of trash wood so and not only that i remember i was hunting an oval air years ago uh, one thing that's always stuck in my mind i was hunting an oval air years ago around the outside just like this and i got a very jumpy 23 24 just like that and up top left picture i will show you what popped out it was a beautiful old owl uh, with some nice diamonds in it they weren't real uh, but how cool how cool and it always reminds me to dig those jumpy signals because sometimes they can pay off we got another one another double jumper god they sound nice listen to that you know what i can actually already see him also he's just hiding in there i didn't really look at the numbers whether he's going to be a one or a two dollar coin there we go though i can just see him now he's a one dollar coin what you doing there fella you better stay come up here and jump into my pouch that'll make me richer for the day i'll probably pay back some of the uh, the fuel money that i've wasted going all over the countryside uh, just to look at uh, big open messy holes and uh, then hitting on two pennies at the old school site i have had a great day though two dollar coin this one a solid 21 uh, sitting on the surface there only one bar of depth as you uh, can hear the same as the one dollar coins there they just ring up so nice so he's right somewhere about there. Let's go the pinpointer out because I cannot see him. He's been squished into the mud. Probably by all the cars driving up and down here. You can see all the car tracks in front of me as uh, people make their way over here to park. Uh, watching the footy on the weekends. Oh, we may have been a little bit off. There he is over in the back there. Somewhere there. He's got a leaf on top of him. There he is. We may get way down to him. Let's just pop him out with that little uh, digger there. He is a $2 coin. I think we're going to make at least $10 today, which I think is what I said at the start of this video, uh, popping out a few coins at the old rec reserve there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we may not get our silver coin. We may uh, be greedy uh, or want to be greedy and get a silver coin, but we just may not get it. So, And that is okay. We did get silver, if you'll remember, at the start of the video, and a silver ring. So which I'm still yet to clean up, uh, bend out straight and show off at the end of this video and uh, have a good look at myself because it looks pretty bloody cool. We got another one again. Look at that, 21, solid 21. He's mixed in with a bit of other trash there. We are uh, making our way back to the car though. So look, this may uh, just finish us off. Let's see what he is. He may be a bit of rubbish. To me, he sounds like a double jumper. So that means $2 coin to me, especially with the numbers being a 21. Let's have a look. Can we get so lucky? I was just uh, going to walk up sort of that direction and start or start gridding or not gridding, just sort of uh, working this area here and then make my way back to the car until I got this signal and just sort of uh, say to everybody, uh, the roadsides are a great place to do because you've got to remember on the weekends, uh, the kids are walking around with money in their pockets from mum and dad and they go to the canteen, they still have a little bit of money left over in their pockets and they walk around the ovals, you know, they just they just wander around catching up with mates and, and watching the footy as they go, uh, visiting different areas, you know, kids don't sit still and so the uh, all the cars being parked on the grass there, the kids have got to have some somewhere to walk they either walk between the fence posts there and the the, uh, the the metal fence so the wooden posts and the metal fence they walk there uh, however in this case it's very very uh, it's got quite an incline you know uh, so kids will be slipping and falling there so they tend to walk out on the road uh, behind the backs of the cars there so if you're looking to work these ovals you know uh, sort of think about it and if the cars are parked there that is a great spot to work but firstly I would start on the roadside and work my way in. That is where you're going to have the most success. So awesome stuff. We've got our next coin. As I said, this is probably going to finish us off. And this is also probably going to put us over the $10, $10 mark now. So just a $1 coin. You can see there where uh, Queen Elizabeth's face is impressed into the dirt. How impressive. Awesome stuff. So let's uh, finish us off at that and uh, put that in the pouch clean up all our gear a little bit before we throw it in the car and then uh, we're going to get home show you everything found today what's in the bag what's in the boot uh, the boot of the car and um, we will see you at home give you a look at uh, everything found as i said today welcome back there guys we have you in the back room ready to take you through a look at what we did today 
I will say too, today was a little bit challenging, uh, basically hitting on what three, four different sites, trying to get that success. And look, it's not always about how much you bring home. It's not always about what you find. It's about the uh, the day and is it enjoyable? And I always enjoy my days out detecting. So just a day out digging for me, and no matter the finds, is a fun day at that. So anyway, let's take you through a look at the trash, a look at uh, some of the rubbish items that we were finding. Uh, the Jack Daniels lid down the bottom there, thinking he was a $2 coin. We've got the harmonica reed, a few old uh, galvanized screws and nails and uh, a few rusty items there, not too much to uh, really complain about. And let's face it, when you're hunting the coins, you have to dig the trash. So anyway, let's move forward to the coins. Uh, we had the Cracker 1917 a Commonwealth One Penny coming out at the school site. He is just in amazing condition. So not all that scarce. Uh, there was a little over 6 million of these minted. Uh, you can see that copper verdigris in front of uh, George's nose there still too. So not something that will come off. However, he cleaned up very, very nice. Uh, very nice indeed. So 1943 kangaroo penny beside that guy. He almost looks like a five, doesn't he? We might have to clean him up a little bit more. So we also got one piece of silver. Uh, we did not get any silver coins. However, 925 there on the back. And this is an old silver ring, which we found at the Recreation Reserve, uh, where all these messy holes were. So never mind, never mind. We finished off the day and we had some success on the gold coins. We've got four $1 coins on that side and five $2 coins on that side. So $10 there and $4 there makes 14 So we had a pretty successful day. I will show too something I didn't um, show coming out. I'll show it now though, this bullet I found at the uh, Recreation Reserve is a 243 cartridge, so I wonder what they, uh, I always say that, but I wonder what they were shooting at, especially at a local public uh, Recreation Reserve in town too, mind you, not out in the country, so uh, a couple of twos and three one cent coins, and as I said, that is about it for us today, so um, let me just take a breath, and I will say quickly before I go, I went out hunting there the other day in the gold fields and I'll throw up a video there and a few pictures. It was a magnificent day, uh, but once again, uh, we did not have all that much success. Uh, just like today, you know, we, we sort of finished the day off uh, pretty high there with the gold coins. However, this morning, you know, well, most of today, we really struggled. And so, uh, same with the day out in the gold fields uh, over the weekend just gone. Now, these were the only three little pieces that I managed to pick up. However, I had a fascinating day. Uh, I, you know, I seen some awesome, awesome scenery. Uh, enjoyed walking around the countryside. I got a lot of exercise. I tell you that. I think I walked about seven k, uh, and up and down hills too, or not so much hills. They were more uh, the sides of cliffs. Uh, it was like a, a billy goat, a mountain goat, climbing up and down with the detector and the shovel, trying to access. Uh, alongside the river where all the miners huts used to be so and I found a few miners huts I did not get any pictures unfortunately uh, we'll be back there at a later date to clean it up a little bit more and see if I can do some more detecting there the grass is uh, really high so anyway guys that is about it for us today and not too much success the other day on the gold fields a little bit of success today and uh, hopefully next time we get back we'll have a lot more success fill that pouch completely up so uh, anyway guys as I said that is about it be sure to hit that uh, like comment subscribe button below and stay tuned for some bloopers we'll catch you next time Okay, so what's up there guys and welcome back to Dig It Detecting. Welcome also to a beautiful Tuesday morning. We're out hunting here with the Equinox uh, 800 to be running along the outside of the oval here jumping over the track doing a bit more there and heading our way back to the footy club rooms and seeing what we can find as I said with that awesome little coil so let's get started and let's see what we can find Okay, so what's up there guys, and welcome back to Dig It Detecting, welcome to... 
Okay, so what's up there guys and welcome back to Digger Detecting. Welcome also to a beautiful, nice, early Tuesday morning. We're out detecting the oval there today. Okay, so what's up there guys and welcome back to Digger Detecting. Welcome also to a nice... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so righto. So that's rant over now. Uh, basically, I just you know uh, looking. Rightio, I think I've seen. Rightio, I think I've seen enough to be honest. Hey. Ugh. Hey, so there we go. We Look out, we might have finally done it. Listen to that guy. Nice high signal. Let's turn that volume up a bit. I think I've got it down. Oh, that's better. I tell you what, I've really hunted for that too. We've just hummed around absolutely everywhere here, trying to get under the, uh, the box sawn hedge with that little six inch coil. It's just a ripper. You can poke in around, oh, let go, <laughs> got me uh, hung up then. You can poke around the bricks quite easily though, uh, all the old foundations there. And trying to hunt down these signals. And I was thinking, you know, we're really working for it. However, that also tells me one thing. We must have done a pretty good job over the years. Cleaning all these coins up, uh, all these good signals up with the 11 inch coil, didn't we? If we can't find, oh. There's a brick there. If we can't find too much with the little six inch. Okay, this might be a bit of a challenging dig. <laughs> Hear that? Concrete everywhere. Right, let's have a look. Look out, they're coming for us. They just heard that I found a 1917 penny and they want it. They're gonna land over in that field there in a minute and steal my coin off me, I bet. Whoops, <laughs> there goes the detector too. Let's pick him up. Let's show you what our next signal is. Rightio, so I've decided, just to take you over quickly, I think we're finished at the old school there. We'll finish for today anyway. Let's just go over quickly for anybody that hasn't seen it. Let's show you the old house site at the back that I was uh, speaking about. It's quite a ripper. Rightio, so we are nearly finished here guys. Just quickly though, I just wanted to wander over to the house uh, and have a, uh, basically... Two dollar coin this time by the sounds, a solid 21. Once again that nice solid jumper. Solid dumble jumper, I should say. We got another one. 